What is going on everyone? It's Brody back again with another tennis topic and today's tennis topic is going to be talking about the differences between the Babolat Pure Drive and the Babolat Pure Drive 98. Now these two rackets in the Babolat Pure Drive line in itself, these have been around for a while. I've made a video on this channel before talking about my review of the actual Babolat Pure Drive itself, but I haven't talked about the 98 and I saw some comments that were mentioning that they wanted to see what the big differences were. And so that's what this video is. I'm gonna walk you through what the Pure Drive is designed to do, the specs of it. I'll get, then we'll go through the Pure Drive 98. And as I'm talking, I'll explain what I found works best with these style rackets, whether it be play style, where you should get them, who should get them. After just working with these types of rackets and helping recommend these to people in my past seven plus years of experience working with tennis equipment. So with that being said, Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the basic and first and foremost, the original, the Pure Drive in itself. Now the basic Pure Drive, this is probably gonna be the most, I'll say playable of the two rackets because it is designed to be a little bit more helpful all around in almost anything you do. With having a much bigger focus on power than say the Pure Drive 98, the reason for that is because of the, of the 100 head size. The 100 head size is going to be a little bit bigger than the 98. It's going to help give a little bit more help with power. It's going to be a little bit more helpful with spin. And it's going to just be a little bit easier for a lot more players to use. Whereas the 98, it's going to be harder for players to use if they're not used to it or if they're just starting out into the game. So with the Pure Drive, the good thing about the Pure Drive, and I'm just using the standard Pure Drive here, the thing about the Pure Drive line is that it has multiple different weight variations to it. So if you maybe are someone who's starting out to play tennis or you tend to prefer lighter weight rackets, there are lighter weight versions of the normal Pure Drive. You have the Pure Drive Lite and you have the Pure Drive Team. If you prefer the standard weight, which is the one I'm gonna be talking about here versus the 98, because it's the most easy comparison, the regular one comes in at about 10.6 ounces or 300 grams unstrung. And then you usually, once you add the strings, you're looking at about 11.2 ounces and about 315 grams strung. Now the grams weight, that can be a little bit more different. That grams is not necessarily my strong suit off of the top of my head. But with that, that's a very, fairly close number for you to reference in terms of how heavy the rack will be once you put the string inside of it. And then as well with the Pure Drive, you do have a stiffness of about 71. Now what this means is that this is a very stiff racket. That is one of the other reasons why this focuses so much more on power. A, the more stiff a racket is, the more power that it actually is able to create because the racket does not bend as much. So if you're someone that has arm issues or arm problems and you wanna help prevent tennis elbow or you may just not want to ever have it, then the regular pure drive may not be the one to go with because of how stiff and how hard it is going to be on your arm. The other thing about the Babolat pure drive is this thing right here, it's called the beam width. Now the beam width is typically measured in three different parts of the racket. It's from the top of the racket, kind of where like the very beginning and the very top is where as you would expect. There's the middle section of the racket. So if you're looking at your racket dead on and you just look at it straight ahead. So say like my racket's right here and this is the middle of it. Then this is the top. If we're right here in the middle, you look at the beam on the sides. And then this last number here, this one is based off of the measurement for how thick it is around the throat of the racket or right where, where the strings end at the bottom and where the grip kind of starts, that in-between part, that's the throat of the racket. Now, I know that would have been easier if I had a racket in my hand, but for some reason, there's not one close to me right now. So, had to do it like that. Anyway, with the beam, because these are much higher numbers, you're looking at a 23 millimeter at the top, you're looking at 26 millimeters in the middle and 23 millimeters again at the bottom. Because these numbers are bigger than the actual Pure Drive 98, which we will get to later, but they are down here, it is 21, 23, and 21. The Babolat Pure Drive, the regular one, is gonna be a little bit more powerful and be a little bit stiffer, as you can see by that 71 stiffness rating. 
And so it's gonna be more helpful with power than the normal PureDrive 98 is. So most people I've seen and I've worked with, they usually are able to find the version of the racket they're looking for with the Pure Drive, whether it be the lighter weight version, the heavier version, there is a heavier version of the Pure Drive Tour, or just the standard version. And that's where they tend to, or at least most people I work with, tend to prefer the racket to be rather than the Pure Drive 98. I like the Pure Drive personally for players who are just either getting into the game or they've been playing for a while and they just want help with power as long as their arm has not been injured, they've not had shoulder surgery, they've not had wrist injuries or tennis elbow or anything like that. If you've had anything like that, again, I will say probably shouldn't look at the Pure Drive line in general, but definitely don't look at the regular Pure Drive. It's just easier to find a different rack that's gonna offer the same characteristics and playability without having to worry about the arm. So that's what I'll say about the Pure Drive for now. And then now we'll move on over to Pure Drive 98. So Pure Drive 98. Yes, this racket is still Pure Drive and it is still focused on power. However, because the Pure Drive 98 is a little bit different, you have that smaller head size being 98, duh. That is going to be a little bit more of a control focused racket rather than the traditional pure drive. And this is where the biggest differences start to come out for the rackets. The actual Babolat Pure Drive 98 is going to be the 98 head size, but you're also going a little bit heavier than the normal pure drive. You have about 10.8 ounces unstrung or 305 grams unstrung, which will then go to around 11.4 ounces or 320 grams, again, about with the string actually inside of it. So this racket is going to be a little bit heavier than the normal Pure Drive. If you've never tried a racket before or you want something that's gonna be a little bit more easy for you to use, the Pure Drive 98 may not be the one to go for. That's where the regular Pure Drive comes in or the other weights of it in the 100 head size. If you want a more control oriented racket though, that is gonna be a little bit heavier because you're able to control it and that's not a problem. You have, you've been playing for a while, you're more of an intermediate, high intermediate to advanced level player and you just want a, the feeling of the pure drive that you've been using for it. You just want it to be a little bit more control oriented. You've already worked and messed around the string or you're just excluding it because you just want like the racket. Then the pure drive 98 may make more sense. And that's where also with the Pure Drive 98, you get a little bit of a nicer feeling. I know it may be a little bit hard to see because of the light, but the stiffness is at a 67 rather than the 71 of the Pure Drive, which is interesting because you went down to the smaller head size. So if you want a rack that's more control oriented, a little bit easier on the arm than the normal Pure Drive, as well as just a little bit heavier, then the Drive 98 makes sense. This also can be seen in terms of why it's more of a control racket because as I mentioned earlier with the beam width, you have 21 millimeters at the top, 23 millimeters in the middle, and 21 millimeters again at the bottom in the throat. So you have a much thinner racket to not only give you a little bit more help with feel, but also just to help make it just a little bit easier on you because the Bablat Pure Drive 98 is going to be a little bit more flexible and less stiff than its regular Pure Drive counterpart. If you're looking for a racket just for control and you, but still a little bit, I'd say more powerful than other rackets like the Wilson Blade 98 or the Head Radical MP or even a few other, a few others that are in that same category like the Slinko Wideout 98 or excuse me, but it's going to go wide out 305, which is the most comparable, or even something as random as, say, the, what was it? It's the Percept 97 from Yonix. That's what it was. Thanks, Brain. Anyway, if you're looking for that control rack with just a little bit more power to it, that's where the Pure Drive 98 comes in. If you want a Pure Drive racket that's a little bit easy on your arm, still being a little bit on the heavier side, though, and still going to help with a lot of control, Drive 98, I think will do you good. Pure Drive, on the other hand, this is gonna be more of an all around style racket. So if you've been playing for a little bit or you're just getting into it, or you just want a racket that's a lot more helpful in general, that's where the Pure Drive, the normal one with the 100 head size comes in. 
You can use either or in almost any scenario once you get up to a certain level, but you are almost always going to have a preference as to how you want a racket to play, and that is a promise from me. You will prefer one of these over the other, and that's why I will always say to demo these rackets if you have the chance, because that is going to be the best determinant of whether or not, say, the stiffness at 71 of the regular pure drive is too hard for your arm, or if the weight of the Pure Drive 98 is gonna to be too heavy for you to swing with consistently, that's where you can really, really, really find which one works best for your game and what you need it to do. The Babolat Pure Drive regular is gonna to to be a little bit more helpful with spin and power, gonna be a little bit harder on the arm, but a little bit lighter as well. The Babolat Pure Drive 98 is gonna be a little bit more helpful with control, it's gonna be a little bit heavier, a little bit easier on your arm, as well as just give you a little bit of a more connected feeling to the ball because of the thinner beam as well. So, of course, as always, and as I just said, please demo these rackets if you are considering anything. I don't want you to get hurt because you just tried a battle at racket for the first time. You're like, these things are cool or I see them everywhere. It's like, no, no, please try it first. Please don't hurt yourself. I don't want you to get hurt. I have to deal with tennis elbow or anything, or just even, or just have to stop playing because you got injured from your rackets because you just didn't know what was going to happen or what they were designed to do, and the racket may not have been for your game. So, that being said, that's all I'm going to say about these. If you're wondering why I did not mention swing weight in this video, from everything I've been seeing as well as just from playing or feeling the rackets themselves. The swing weights are very comparable, so I didn't really mention that here because that, I think those were maybe within a point or two of each other from the ones that I was playing with or measured. So with that being said, swing weight, very similar. That's why it's not mentioned here. And that's where I just went with the specs and the actual topics I discussed in the video already. So with that being said, if you like the video, leave a like on it. Comment down below any more questions that you may have about the Pure Drive or the Pure Drive 98. I will try and get back to them as soon as I can. And subscribe to this channel so we can grow this channel. Get the information out there from the people that have it to the people that need it. There's a lot of tennis misinformation in the tennis community. So I took it upon myself to make this channel so that we can get rid of that and get the information out there from the people that have it to the people that need it. And, as always, take care.